everyone as told in my first video i would tell you which ncrts you have to cover and some standard books you have to read for cracking this upsc exams if you have not watched my previous video i would suggest you to do so to understand the basic things you need to start your upsc preparation the first thing which you should know and i guess most of you know that which subjects we need to cover from ncrts so basically history geography polity economy science environment society art and culture environment these are the basic subjects we need we can cover from our ncrts basics can be easily covered and some standard books i'm also going to suggest you so that little bit higher studies can be also be clarified and your mains in your mains writing it will be helpful for you next now one important thing i think most of you are having doubt about is old and new ncrts like there are two types of ncrts available mostly in all the schools now new ncrts are given because that is the new way of uh, learning that is the new way how the books are being published but old ncrts are also very helpful because in the old ncrts the books were very bulky because there were lots of pages and lots of informations were given but in a direct way very easy way in a very easily easy written language the books were written so we have to read those books but we don't have to buy the ncrt i will tell you name of three books for history mainly uh, one is r s sharma's ancient india satish chandra's medieval india bipan chandra's modern india these three books are basically old ncrts okay so if you read these three books will be enough no need to read any other old ncrt books and other than that ncrt the new ncrt books which i will tell you which you have to read those books will help you to uh, have thoughts in your mind when you will give uh, when you will attempt your answer writing even uh, you can attempt the answers which are there in the books at a very previous level you can even write those answers because that will help you out in your upsc mains writing papers so let's start first paper 1 for your paper 1 you can note this down Uh, or i will provide you the pdf uh, for all the details so first of all for history class 9th class 10th and class 12th for class 9 there are two books you have to read india and the contemporary world 1 and 2 to both the parts class 10 themes in world history and class 12 three books are there history 1 2 and 3 themes in india you have to read three of them next in case of society now society uh, for society it's mainly mains based prelims uh, in prelims question doesn't come from society it's basically mains based so you can read class 11th sociology book understanding society class 12th indian society and class 12th social change and development in india next will be art and culture now for art and culture you can either buy a book which is a very renowned book uh, but it's quite bulky so much information is actually not required uh, you can read it but if you just need to cover because in prelims not many question comes from art and culture so you no need to give a lot of time uh, for this particular part which i believe so uh, still do not leave it class 11th and two books are there for class 11th and introduction to indian art and for this book only two chapters you are going to read chapter 9 and 10 is going to be enough living art traditions of india chapter 9 and 10 will be enough for geography now this is a very important subject for your prelims as well as mains so you are going to start from class 11th fundamentals of physical geography india physical environment fundamentals of human geography class 12th people and economy for class 12th so these four books are enough but as i have told you in my previous video if your basic is not cleared obviously you can read class 9 and 10th book as well but i don't think it will be required from class 11th everything is covered and these four books will give you a very good binding a very good basic for your geography 
नेक्स्ट इज विल गो टू सेकेंड पेपर ना तो सेकेंड पेपर इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स द पॉलिटी पेपर एंड पॉलिटी पेपर वी नो इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पेपर्स फॉर योर यू पी एस सी लाइक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन डेमोक्रेटिक पॉलिटिक्स फर्स्ट पार्ट क्लास टेंथ सेकेंड पार्ट क्लास इलेवेंथ यू आर गोइंग टू रीड इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एट वर्क एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस पॉलिटिकल थियोरी क्लास ट्वेल्थ पॉलिटिक्स इन इंडिया सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस सो दीज आर द फोर बुक फाइव फोर फाइव बुक्स विच यू विल रीड फॉर पॉलिटी एंड आफ्टर दिस ओनली यू विल टच एम लक्ष्मीकांत नॉट बिफोर दैट ओके नेक्स्ट थर्ड पेपर विच इज इकोनॉमी सो इन केस ऑफ इकोनॉमी you will start you will read class 11th and 12th book enough no need to read uh, 9th and 10th books but if you have time enough then only you will read 9 and 10 books then uh, for class science you have to read 9 and 10 science books class 11 for class uh, from class 11 chemistry unit 14 biology units 4 and 5 and class 12th books chemistry unit 16 biology units 8 9 10 no need to read anything else other than this and for environment and ecology just refer to class 12th biology book last four chapters that is 13 to 16 this much will be enough for environment from ncert next now these names i will tell you i am sure about it that already most of you know that which are the standard books for your upsc and there are many videos many many uh, topper videos those who are uh, giving you suggestions like which books you have to read but it will be my suggestion that you make a book list some books should should be there like m lakshmikant is obviously should be there gc leong should be there and orion black swan atlas must be there uh, for csat you can refer to tata megro hill very good book and for ethics integrity and aptitude you can refer to this book and you can refer to any from any publications 10 to 20 years solved prelims paper so this will give you this particular book you will read for uh, when you will sit for your prelims for last 3 months this is the book which you have to read for for 3 months no other thing you are going to touch other than solving past 10 or 20 years papers and analyzing them okay and if now rest of the books depends on your optional subject like if your optional is history then you have to uh, buy more history books if your optional is geography then you have to buy more geography books it depends so depending on your optional subject you have to choose your books and obviously lastly one and a half years current affairs must be covered and if you cover it every day it will be better do not go for monthly capsules you can go for monthly capsules only for revision purpose do not base your current affairs on your monthly capsule okay make your notes every day so lastly this was my video i am not making lengthy videos because uh, it i think this will be better so in the next video i'm going to explain to you how to choose your optional subject because before you start your preparation you must know that this is my optional and as i told you before also that knowing your optional and sticking to it is a very important part okay do not change your optional frequently so i will tell you and i will give you a statistics also that which optional can give you a better future in ranking of the upsc so that's it thank you so much for watching uh, if you like then please like my video share it and subscribe to my channel because in future i'm going to make videos specially i have decided that specially i will be making videos of uh, disaster management okay ethics paper society and internal security these will be my topics because i i whatever i have seen in the youtubes and there are so many teachers who are teaching you history geography economics polity uh, so i don't think i need to make those videos again but these subjects are less covered but these subjects plays very important part in your mains writing in your interview purpose so that's why i'm going to 
मेक वीडियोज आई विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग वीडियोज़ वेरी सून ऑन दीज सब्जेक्ट्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच इट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल